thank you sir uh, for interesting me with this opportunity i welcome you all to this 27 study circle of universal briefing on open education resources a holistic view from definition to application today we have a eminent speaker ms joya sharma who is working as a librarian government general degree college singur and this study circle will be presided by dr suparna naskur ma'am dr suparna naskur did her ba in political science from university of calcutta and blsc mlsc and phd from jadavpur university she started her career as a library trainee at jadavpur university at present she is working as a librarian kandiraj college murshidabad <coughs> she is also an acting as an academic counsel counselor of netaji subhash open university she is also an editorial member of edwin group of journals she has written many articles in edited books seminars and she also published numerous articles in national and international seminars now i would like request suparna ma'am to take the charge Okay, we are live now. Okay, miss. Super na. Na. Suparna, do one thing, na. You may ekbar barrier ke arey bar dhoko, and I would request our dear participants to kindly be with us because there is a technical snag from the president of the session. So please stay with us. Yes. Now, now it is audible, Suparna. Ha, shona jachche? Ha, shona jachche. Please, please carry on. Thank you.
Hello everyone. My heartiest thanks to Universal Briefing, uh, especially Professor Budayan Bhattacharya Sat uh, from Jadavpur University, Convener Dr. Ovik Roy, Chairman Dr. Atanu Dash and Anamika Dash. I am really grateful to be part of a, such an incredible uh, team for their hard work and dedication. Our uh, speaker today, uh, today's session, our speaker is Jaya Sharma, who is presently working as a librarian at Government General Degree College, Singur, Hooghly. Uh, prior to this, she has worked as LI's intern at Central Reference Library, ICSSR, Eastern Regional Center, and Jadapur University. She received her MSc from Calcutta University. She also obtained her BLIS and MLIS degree from Calcutta University and JU Jadapur University respectively. She is currently pursuing PhD in DLIS JU. Um, her areas of research interest lie in information retrieval, open access, sustainability, and various topics related to information science. So uh, without uh, much uh, already delay. So just um, our speaker, please come, Jaya Sharma, hand over to you. Uh, uh, thank you for the introduction, ma'am. Today I'm going to speak about open educational resources. As I'm running down with code lately, please excuse me for any kind of disruption or inconvenience during the discourse. Now, moving on to my uh, presentation. Is it visible? Yes, yes, it is visible. Okay. The role of education is invaluable for the growth of the individual, society, and economy of the country. It is the basic right of human beings. So it should be easily accessible to all learners. But globally, the education system has been facing several challenges in terms of access to quality and equitable education, skill-based curriculum, etc. Open education can help to eliminate or reduce this disparity among countries and information societies. Open education encompasses <coughs> resources, tools, practices, and policies that are free of legal, financial, and technical barriers and can be fully used, shared, and adapted in the digital environment. Open educational resources exist within the wider openness movement based on the idea that knowledge should be disseminated and shared freely through the internet for the benefit of society as a whole. The two most important aspects of openness are free availability and as few restrictions as possible on the use of the resource. Though there is no one standard definition of open educational resources, the following broad definition of OER from OER Commons seems to be accepted widely. OER are teaching, learning, and research resources that reside in the public domain or have been released with an intellectual property license that permits their free use or repurposing by others. Open educational resources are high quality teaching, learning, and research materials that are free for people everywhere to use and repurpose. The word open is the key to the manifestation of the term OER. The main features of OER are freely available, modifiable, and openly licensed or in the public domain. To be noted, the public domain refers to everything that is not protected by copyright. Essentially, items in the public domain are owed by the public and not by any one individual creator. Items typically fall into the public domain for one of the following reasons. Uh, either the copyright has expired or the copyright owner failed to follow copyright renewal rules or the copyright owner deliberately places it in the public domain 
but copyright law does not protect this type of work. The OER <coughs> have been part of the educational system ever since the invention of computer and internet technology. The initial movement of the OER began in the early 1990s when a few public libraries and museums of the USA offered some free learning material. A remarkable breakthrough in the history of the OER appeared in 2001 when MIT released educational material consisting of syllabi, lecture notes, assessment, video lectures of their courses under the title Open Courseware. Open Courseware consists of web-based published course content. Seeing the growth and popularity of Open Courseware, UNESCO 